What's going on? It's your big brother, Trans Genius. You tuned in once again to the right video at the right time. Because if you think like me, then you already know nothing happens by mistake. Everything happens for a reason. So there's a reason that you click this video right now. It's a reason you about to watch this whole video right now. It's because God is trying to tell you to move and relocate. All right. I can speak on this from experience because originally I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. But currently, right now, I stay out in the Arizona area, um, and I'm in Paradise Valley, Arizona. As you can see, the beautiful mountains back there in the background and the luscious uh, trees and stuff like that. Everybody think this place is all deserts and cactuses and stuff, but it is really not. So um, I can speak on this from experience. It took me uh, having to travel from many different states. I had to travel from New York to California, to Tennessee, to Florida, to Houston, Texas. I went everywhere in the United States just to see where I fit in and, you know, to start my life. Okay. So listen close to the signs that I'm about to tell you, God is wanting you to move and relocate. All right. Now, the first sign God wants you to move and relocate. If you feel like where you stay at is a bad place. All right. If you stay in a bad neighborhood, it got a lot of crime in the neighborhood. It feel like every time you step outside, you got to look over your shoulder just to make sure you are safe. All right. Or maybe your neighbors are rude. You know, you see drama in the neighborhood and stuff like that. Maybe you have a situation going on with your neighbors. Your neighbors don't like you for no reason. You ain't you ain't did that. You just feel negative vibes when you go back to your house after work. All right. If that's you, then God is telling you to move. OK, because what God will do is he'll create a bunch of chaos around around you so that you can figure out where you can create order. OK, I'm going to say that one more time. If your neighborhood is chaotic and it's a bad neighborhood crime infested you probably have helicopters flying people shooting at night you know what i'm saying if it's bad the kids are bad in the neighborhood they stay in the neighborhood um like i said if you feel unsafe and if you feel bad every time you return home then god is telling you that you need to move and relocate to a totally different area that's why he's creating chaos in the neighborhood so he can get you to go somewhere else because that's not the place that you need to be that's not the place you're going to be able to thrive, okay? So if that sign resonated with you, then you already got the confirmation that's, that God wants you to move, okay? You need to move and relocate. The second sign that God wants you to move and relocate is, are you able to accomplish anything and get anything done where you stay at? Are you able to accomplish your goals, accomplish your dreams where you stay at? If you're not, then you should move on. You know, a lot of us get tied up into thinking, uh, we have to stay here because our mom stays here. We have to stay here because everybody in the family stays in this area. Or, you know, her grandma stayed in the house for 30 years, you know, and we can't we can't go anywhere else. We have to stay in this little hut. You know what I'm saying? But that's not really how you're supposed to live life. You know, um, if you want to be successful, then you definitely have to. It requires you to have to travel different places. I mean, <laughs> if you want to be a basketball player, look at AAU basketball. These boys have to travel from state to state to play different teams. You know what I mean? You know, uh, everybody does. If you want to be a music artist, I mean, you can't just do shows in your neighborhood. You got to go from state to state to state to throw different shows. So traveling is normal if you want to be successful. OK, if you're the type of person watching this video and you want to accomplish a, a big goal or something like that, it's going to require you to have to move and relocate whether you like it or not, okay? And that's usually why you can't get anything done. If you feel like you can't get anything accomplished, um, you can't get into shape, you've been trying to get into shape for X amount of years and stuff like that, you can, you're still not in shape like you really see yourself. The reason why you're not in shape the way you really want to be in shape is because there's nobody around you that's trying to get in shape in the neighborhood. You know, everybody's just comfortable with just being, you know, average, okay? So... Um, maybe you can't find a job or something right now. Is it hard for you to find a job? And it's like, man, I can't find a job no matter what I do, man. And I know I'm qualified. I got a good resume. I know I'm talented. If that's you and you can't find a job, then that means there's no jobs in your area. <laughs> you got to move and relocate. See, like I said, once again, most of the time we get tied down in our mind to think that everything has to be done at home. It doesn't. Okay. God is trying to give you a message. You know what I mean? If you can't keep a job and it's like your boss keep firing you, you, you know, you, something happens and you can't go to work no more. And it's been happening over and over and over and over and over again. That's because God is trying to get you. This is not the place you need to be. You need to move and relocate and go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Um, if you're the person 
If you're like the only person around your in your neighborhood or your city or your home or whatever, and you have a goal or you're very ambitious and you have a, a, a strong drive and it's like nobody else has a drive or nobody else has the will to do anything great or nothing like that, that's another sign God is telling you you should move and relocate. Can't nobody relate to you. Can't nobody see your vision. Don't nobody support you. Don't nobody care. Okay? They're, they're not obligated to care. Okay? They're not... People around you, your family members, they don't have to care about what you're trying to do for your life, but you do. So in order for you to surround yourself with other people who do care about what you got going on, you got to hit the road, Jack. You got to go somewhere different. And that's just the way it is. You're just different from them. That don't make them bad. You're just different. You just want different things. Everybody has something that they got going on is different. So since you have ambition, since you have drive, since you have the will to do something great, the reason why it's not getting accomplished, it could just be because you're you're in a location that doesn't allow it to get accomplished. All right. If you're if you want to be a runway model, there's no way um, there's no way you could be a runway model in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, and expect to be successful in New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> I mean, come on, you got to go to where the models go. You got to go to New York, Manhattan, or something like that, where there are model agencies that are taking people's applications and resumes and like having you to come and try out, okay? You can't do that in New Orleans, Louisiana. You got to go to where your tribe is, okay? That's why God is constantly trying to get you to move and relocate because you're trying to accomplish your dream, all right? Now, the third sign that you uh, that God is trying to get you to move and relocate is if you've always had the desire to want to travel and go places, he's trying to get you to move and relocate. Right. If you're the type of person that's like, man, I want to take a vacation again, man, I want to take another vacation, man, I want to He trying to God is talking to you. That's the reason why you're infatuated with going to different places and stuff like that outside of your city It's because God is trying to say, what do you know what it would be like if you lived your life out here? I have so many blessings for you that you don't even know or you haven't even obtained yet because you have you still keep coming back to the same place. You know, what I mean, sometimes God be trying to get you to go to different places by you know, getting you uh, influenced by a certain place that you like to go. Like, oh my God, I always like come here and have a great time here. Man, this is so cool, man. Man, wow, Arizona is the bomb, man. I really like it out here, man. Okay, God wanted you to come to Arizona. God wanted you to go to San Diego and see how beautiful it was. It's because he's trying to get you to move to one of those places. You understand? It's better to, if it's better than where you stay at right now, why not move there? What's stopping you? Okay. And so if you have the desire to travel, like God put that idea in your heart. Okay. Everything good comes from above. It comes from the most high. So if you have the desire to travel, like if you're the type of person that's, you're always looking at travel channel and looking at beautiful places on the internet. If you're the type of person that's always looking at nice big houses and stuff, and you're like, my God, that house is just amazing, man. Those houses are not where you stay at. You know what I mean? If you're the type of person that, you know, you look at magazines and you just admire country lands and rainforest and stuff like that. And you're like, man, I, oh man, I really wish I could stay out there. Well, that's, that, that's God telling you that you should move and relocate there. Okay. And see, to sum it all up, okay, with the thing about traveling, the reason why you probably haven't traveled to where you really want to be is because you have phobias or you have fears and listen most of the time those fears came to you from, from somebody else all right it could be family members some friends uh ex ex uh people in your relationships or whatever most of the time it's not you that's scared to travel it's other people who have been afraid to travel it's other people who have been you know cool and comfortable with where they are it's not really you you got the desire to go somewhere and do something different and see different things and see new faces you know what I mean? So um, once again, like <clears throat> when it comes down to traveling, I know one of my foes and fears was getting on an airplane, but I wanted to come to a different location so I couldn't drive there. I definitely sure wasn't going to drive. I, I wasn't going to drive across the nation to come to Arizona. You know what I'm saying? So I had to fly and I had to face my fears. Was it scary the first time? Absolutely. Who's not scared of the first time flying? I was, I was shook. Okay. Yeah. A lot of anxiety. But the more you the more you do something, the more you get used to it. I, I admit, still to this day, 
you know, I get the I get the creeps a little bit when I get on an airplane because it's crazy because you're not in control of it. OK, but that's normal. Everybody feels that way. All right. But I'm saying all that to say face your fears, because on the other side is blessings that are held up, stored up, waiting for you. That God has just been trying to put into into your hands. But you, you, you got to be able to have the courage to be able to walk on faith. OK, walk on faith. Jesus told the disciples, he said, Come on, just walk on the water. Y'all not going to drown. Nothing's going to happen. Come on, get off the boat. You know, get off the boat. Get off the boat of being comfortable with where you are, your neighborhood, your city. Go out, see the world. You only get one life to live. You know what I mean? Life is not meant for you to just stay in one little city. The earth is our turf, baby. God put this earth here for me and you. And we share it because it's like it's both of us, man. You know what I mean? So, Anyway, real talk. These are the three signs God is telling you to move and relocate. Now, I told you if you stay to the end of this video, Big Brother Trend got something very special for you. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you want to get into my crypto, yo, get into my crypto. If you want to learn crypto, you've been following me. You're trying to, you're trying to um, make money through crypto with us and the team. Make sure you click that link below and just sign up for my Patreon. Okay. And I'm going to send you a message as soon as you sign up. Also, if you want a session with me, book a session with me if you ain't talked to me yet. Okay, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. If you ain't booked a session with me, you need to talk to Big Bro. All right, I got something to tell you. All right. Also, if you haven't got one of my courses, such as the Money Vortex course, the Chosen Ones and Family course, Breaking Spells course, get one of my courses. I have them all back up and running. They're going to also be in the comment section. If you see repeated numbers and you want to know more about these repeated numbers, you're going you're gonna to get my repeated numbers course, which allows you to see multiple videos that are not on YouTube about repeated numbers. Shh, I can't tell everybody the good sauce, okay? Can't give everybody the sauce to the recipe, all right? Did that make any sense? Okay. But yeah, courses are at the bottom. Crypto is at the bottom. Sessions is at the bottom. It's your big brother trend, man. These are the three signs God is telling you to move and relocate. I wish you well on your, on your journey to success. Get out your neighborhood, man. Go somewhere else, go different, go far, and be great. See you in the next video. Peace.